Welcome back Anime and TCG fans, today I've got something truly exciting, it is the first line or the first booster box in the Akura TCG line and it's the first edition. If you're not aware of Akura TCG, it's this brand new TCG created by some guys here in the UK. Uh, they raised a lot of money on Kickstarter and it's something like £200,000 which is crazy to create this TCG and it's basically uh, a very anime style TCG based around alchemy and kind of, um, you know, um, that kind of fantasy style style uh, genre. Um, it's, it, I'm really excited to open this. I mean, um, this has been a project for ages and it's here from the UK as well, so I'm really happy to support this. Um, and uh, yeah, one thing though is that I really wish I got a better box. So this is the pre-order bonus, by the way. So the pre-order bonus comes in this nice acrylic case, but the box I got is actually ever so slightly crushed. I'm not sure if it's the shop that did it or uh, it was like this from the factory. I kind of think it's like this from the factory because the seal is still very tall. So it's not like um, the seal was like a normal kind of size seal and then it got crushed. Otherwise the seal would be quite loose. But the seal here is quite tall, which suggests to me that this is actually damaged in the factory and then this was sealed with the damage on, which is very disappointing because obviously they know people want to keep this sealed, otherwise they wouldn't be giving this nice acrylic box with it. This box is really nice. It's um, So th this box has got a little slidey lid thing here uh, and then you can get into the old booster box. And the box is nice because, if I can get this out, the box actually says, uh, let me put my hand here so it's easy to see, Akura TCG here imprinted on it. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, today I'll be opening this up. Um, I wish it was a better condition one, otherwise I would have kept it sealed. But oh well, it's content for my channel. So let's get opening. Um, let me... I don't have my knife on me, so I guess I'll have to just use a pen. Oh. There we go. And I don't know anything else about this game. I haven't seen many cards. I've seen kind of a few of these cards on eBay because uh, this is this is now been out for a couple of days now, or weeks. So um, some people have opened it. Uh, I guess this is like a little sticker seal to show that this is a sealed box. And now it says void. That's quite cool. So people know that this booster box has been opened. Oh wow! Right. This is uh, cool. So each, whoa. So this is a box topper. So I guess it's like a promo pack for if you buy a boost pack. And these are the packs itself. Wow, they've all got different artwork. Whoa, that's really cool. Each booster pack has different artwork. So how many different artworks are there? So there's at least six right from here. I think this one here. Oh, it might be like six different artworks. That's very cool. Oh. Okay, cool. So you've got lots of different artworks in this, uh, which is very cool. They put a lot of effort into this, as you can tell. So let's start with the promo pack that comes with the box here. Uh, box topic is worth of seven cards. Shows it the first edition. Oh, there we go. Akura CCG is a fast-paced anime-inspired card game based around alchemy. Based build an alchemy deck, summon powerful Akura and battle rival alchemists. You can find out more here. So let's open this promo pack up. Oh, Jin, Jin, Jin Saku. Oh, that's very cool. So, let me show you guys the quality of these cards. So, first of all, you can see the artwork's very cool. And the oh, foiling here kind of looks like it has texture. It's like a, it's like a, if you know Yu-Gi-Oh, it's kind of like a prismatic uh, foiling. It's slightly dull, more dull than that, but it's very cool. I mean, it's got this uh, Akure logo, I guess, I don't know, uh, here. It's not hollow or anything. This is the, the picture is the only hollow part. There's nothing else hollow. There's no texture properly on the rest of the card or anything. There we go. Here's a standard TCG sized card. All right, let's get opening. Let's focus. There we go. I kind of want to open these carefully so that I can keep some of these booster pack artwork because they're so cool. Oh, I might just end up buying another box for sealed. All right, beast hunting, Suiki, burn book, frozen wall. All seeing eye. I can't bother to read this out. Cage. I don't know what is meant to be good. I'm not sure if these have rarity symbols. I guess they are. So is that is, there's a C here. Uh, again, let me focus. There's a C here in the bottom right corner here. I guess I'm guessing that means uh, common. 
So, oh, that's a rare, I guess. Frozen wall. That's another rare. All seeing eye, I guess. Oh, this, this, yeah, this is another rare. Okay, so the rarity. I'm not sure. This is what kind of symbol this is. I'm not sure. This is. A, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure what these symbols mean. To be honest, so there's a C here. There's a little star here, but there's a the, yeah. But they're in different locations. Oh, I think we've got cage already. Yari key. Thousand Thunder Senka. It's very cool, isn't it? Yoki Sukiyo. It's very cool artwork. I've got a Oh, we've got a Hollow. We've got Tripwire. So again, ah, oh, this is a good camera angle. So you can see that the Hollow pattern is kind of like the Yu-Gi-Oh prismatic foiling. Um, it's very nice. The name of the card isn't Hollow or anything. It's literally just the image. It's just the background of the image, in fact. Oh, we've got Ice Relic Shard. Oh, these all have the same back, by the way. And um, we've got Secret Protein. Oh. It's quite hard to open. Is there a little tab, like, on Japanese Pokemon cards? So. Right, let me get a pair of scissors. Might be easier. And quicker. I'm gonna try and hurry this up because I'm aware there's 36 packs and not a lot of time. Another Ice Relic Shard. Oh, another hollow leap of faith. Again, I have no idea if these cards are good. I am just looking for the wifey cards. I'm hoping they're wifey cards here. Right passage. Oh, this kind of reminds me of Metasu for some reason. I don't know why. Another hollow magna cage. I'll probably eventually learn how to play this game. I mean, I've got so many of these cards, I should really learn. But finding something to play with is probably the uh, issue. Obviously, this is a new TCG. Um, and it started online. I, don't, I haven't really seen any physical card shops stock this or have any support for this. So you're gonna really have to just be able to play with your friends, to be honest with you. Old man's greed. Choose one face down alchemy card your opponent controls. Activate it in one of your alchemy zones. If you cannot, return the card to your opponent's hand. Okay. A massive pile of empty booster packs here on the right. Do got something interesting at the back. Oh. That's cool. Not seen something like this in this kind of color. Zeru. Is that the guy on the cover? No. Oh, fire relic shot. That's new. Oh, another relic shot thing. Apologies, I'm trying to get my camera to autofocus, but it never does. Oh wow, it's a water relic shard, but it's full foil. Right, let me bring this up to the camera. Oh cool, look, it's got texture. You can see the slight texture on here. Oh, beautiful. There we go, that angle here, this one here. Great. 
beautiful. Uh, it didn't come back. This is like a very interesting game that I would really get into. It's just a shame that it's because it's new, there's not much support for it. Another shard thing. Frost fan. Kojima Suiki. Iari. The little character cards are pretty cool. Okay. I wonder if any of you guys watching this are from any countries other than the UK. Can you let me know how these um, cards are doing over there? So in the UK, a lot of sh online retailers have started stocking them, but obviously there's no physical support for them at any LGS store. Um, so I'm not sure if it's because this game is actually popular or because it's from the UK. Uh, cool, Senko Ken. And then the right shard thing. But yeah, I'd like to know how well this game is doing outside of the UK, whether you guys are aware of this and whether any local shops have started stocking it. I, mean, I know that this only just came out in the UK like a few weeks ago, so I'm not sure if it's made it over to the States yet or if this is printed elsewhere and it came over to the States, but uh, I'll take a look at the box later. Oh, we've got something very nice, I see. Stone of Akora. That's very cool. I see something very nice in the background as well. And uh, let's see what it is. So this, I assume, is our hit of the box. Yoki Sakudo. There's a little Pegasus thing. Yoki Sakudo is brave and loyal by nature. Seraph warriors will ride this Akura into battle. Okay, so this is an Akura, okay. Very cool. Uh, let me just see if I get catched any texture in the camera for you guys. There we go. Very cool. So we've got two full hollows. Um, I'm not sure if the hollows here are basically just hollow versions of common cards or if there's a... Actually, in fact, let me see this. What is the rarity symbol? Okay, so this rarity symbol at the bottom, I assume it's a rarity symbol here. It's slightly different to what we've seen. But yeah, I'd, I'm interested to know if this is doing well outside the UK, just because I know it's not that big anywhere yet. Ancient tree. I won't lie, when I saw this, I thought they'd be filled to the brim with waifus. There's only a few. A lot of nice husband note cards, though. Ah, oh, cool artwork. All right, I think we're about halfway through the box. Um, I'm a bit worried that we pulled our hit of the box. It's, oh, no, no, shard thing, I think. Divine Relic shard this time. So it's interesting to know that you don't actually get a hollow in each pack. Right now, I think we're on two, like, full foil cards. Hopefully, we get some more. Uh, There's just a massive pile of these backs on my right hand side. It's like falling down now. And a foil, foil here. End of eternity. Play or flip this card. Destroy one of your RS. Destroy one of your opponent's eternity cards. 
Right, we need to know what the rules are. I don't know what the hell RS is. I think there's a Kuro TCG. They've started doing basically structure decks uh, or starter decks. So basically they're just pre-made decks where you can play straight out of the box. And then these booster packs are obviously used to kind of make that a bit better. The Stone of Akura. I haven't seen many online shops stop the um, structure deck though, so even if I want to get it to try and see how this game is, I can't right now, so I might have to do some digging around to see where I can get that structure deck. Spirit Token Ducky. I wonder how many cards are in this set. So you can see that there's card, I assume these are card numbers here. So this one says one, two, three. I wonder how many cards are in this first, basically this first set here, but for a TCG. And how hard it is to master set it, that's the better question. See the fire relic shard? I don't think we have. I think this is our first fire relic shard. Oh, nice to keep it. Interesting card. Another ancient tree. I kind of wish this part here was foil or stamped. It'd be so cool if it was. Like an iridescent stamp. Prime Reversal. Oh, so this Jinsaku card is our box topper that we pulled earlier on, or oh, right at the start. So this is the, uh, I guess this is the promo version of this, I guess. So this has got a little rarity symbol here, it's got a little crown, whereas this has got a C for common, I assume. Uh, cool. So right now, all the booster boxes that are in circulation, to my knowledge, are first editions. Uh, I do wonder whether they will actually bring out an unlimited edition or something that's not first edition. So all the first edition cards have that little first symbol here in the bottom right corner of the image. Um, I do wonder whether they'll be popular enough to print this again, but in like an unlimited edition. Everything I see right now is first edition. Oh. That's very cool. Is this a junior? Is this a scent of another Akura soul? I assume these monster things are, a, are what they call Akura. And then, as an alchemist, you take those character cards and when you summon these Akura to, to do battle, I guess, because they have what looks like attack points. But it doesn't have mana or anything. Oh, Dark Relic Shot is cool. Not seen that one before. I don't know what these would do. But um, we don't have like mana like they do in um, Magic or in uh, Duel Masters. So I do wonder how the mechanics of this game works in terms of summoning these Akura. We need to read into it. And obviously we don't have like energy cards either like in Pokemon. Maybe it's like a Yu-Gi-Oh thing where you can only summon certain Akura and you can only kind of evolve them kind of thing by... Oh, Spirit Bomb. <laughs> Just reminds me of Spirit Bomb from Dragon Ball Z. I think we're down to our final two packs now. 30, oh, I haven't opened a 36 pack booster box for a very long time. So much box to sort through. All right, we're down to our final pack. So we've had two full art hollows uh, today, and um, it looks like maybe that's all you get in a box. Or maybe I was just very unlucky, or I was just very lucky. So our final pack. Oh, I don't think we've seen this card before. Magda Athenium. Oh, and the hollow. 
on the cry. Kinda looks like uh, I thought it kinda looked like a Spearow from Pokemon originally. And salty. There we go. That is a Cry TCG. Let's do a quick run down the box. So the box actually the box is actually quite flimsy admittedly. Um, it comes apart quite easily. It's like very thin cardboard. But then again, like you know, they're not they're new. We'll give we'll cut, cut them a break. Um, and I think they print it themselves. I don't think it's like done by a big company. Like it's actually printed by Cora. It's not like Pokemon where it's done by Wizards of the Case or anything. Um, and this is what the box looks, looks like. So this oh, so this is the back side of it. And on the side here, there's some info about it. Okay, so there's some rarities. Okay, rare holo cards. It's one in every two packs. Full art holo cards. One in every two boxes? Or one, I, I'm not sure what that means. Full art holo cards, one to two box. Okay, so I assume rare holo cards is one in every two packs, because that looks that sounds about right. Full art holo cards, one in every two boxes. Is that what it's trying to say? I'm not sure, because otherwise it should be plural here, boxes. Generational full art holo cards, one in every three boxes, and then serialized rare holo 100 in 30,000 boxes. I'm not sure if that's right. Why would they need to have it in multiples of 100, and not just one in um, 300 boxes? And then ancient rare cards and secret rare cards. And secret rare cards. Okay, maybe they did it because these are in multiples of 30,000, so they put serial serialized rare holo in multiples of 30,000. Okay. So we didn't pull any of the good stuff. We pulled uh, a full art holo, I assume, and we pulled something else that I will go back and take a look to see whether it's a generational full art holo card. Um, but yeah, that is a Kuro TCG. I, there's a distinct lack of waifus that is disappointing for an anime TCG, I won't lie. Oh, you guys are gonna watch this and go, oh, you're a massive simp for just wanting the waifu cards. Just appreciate the artwork. But I'll be honest, I, 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 I don't know good waifus here. And I'm sure most of you guys watching this, if you subscribe to my channel, you probably were as well. So, yeah. But these are pretty cool cards, I won't lie. Um, it kind of reminds me of Magic. Um, reminds me of MetaZoo as well from the artwork for some reason. I don't know why. I think any, any card game that's not Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh! just reminds me of Magic, basically. Um, but yeah, it's very cool. Um, I hope they do really well. I'm hoping that this gets support, you know, in actual physical stores and we can go play this game because... Well, it looks like a lot of thought has been put into this card game in terms of design, in terms of mechanics. So I'm really hoping that I can try this out uh, with some people in real life. But we'll see whether that happens. I don't think card games are doing too well. I think Digimon is starting to die off as well now, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, let's see if this Spellbound Wings, um, if Kuro TCG comes up with a second set. And if they do, hopefully I'll get that and open that as well. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.